Now it's time to configure the color and typography. To configure color and typography, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply click on customize from appearance and then click customize. I just open a new tab here and close other tabs from my computer so that I can keep it clean and fresh. Well, so first of all, you have to understand the color and typography that I'm going to use from my design. There is nothing serious and there is nothing fancy here very simple i'm using minimal color minimal style so the only color that i want which is this one so this should be our primary color click over here copy and go to global then colors and here you can see the global color palette you can change the color by clicking here you can add another color palette so i'm not not going to add other color palette so let's style the style uh, one color palette here let's change it to primary color and also there will be black color zero 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 so change it to this one and also you can add whatever you want color here so it, it really doesn't matter let's copy and let's make it a little bit darker okay great now let's go back to my design so that's it there is a uh, very lace color that i have used here but uh, if you want you can add more color and as of now i'm gonna keep the color looks like this and we'll change them later on step by step based on my preference so now let's talk about the typography here inside the typography i'm using let's click over here i'm using font called inter and the regular the font weight is regular and the font size is 16 pixel so let's change it from here the body font should be inter and the variance is regular 400 and also the size is 16 so it looks perfect here and let's take a look at the heading font this one is heading 1 which is 64 and bold this one is heading 2 48 and this one is heading 4 24 it's regular and heading 2 is bold so the heading 1 is 64 pixel and heading 2 is 48 pixel let's first of all uh, change the heading font and see if it's enter yes the heading is enter let's go to headings and it's inherit that means it will display the inter font and it's displaying semi bold so you can inherit this one as well and heading one i can change it from here the font weight should be bold and it was 68 pixel right so let's con 64 pixel and that's it so the heading two should be 48 and bold so let's it's inherit and font weight bold 42 or 48 pixel i think yes maybe 48 <laughs> yes and um, that's it and heading 3 heading 4 heading 5 heading 6 we will change them later on based on our changes preference when we build so that's the initial stage or the step that you can use from here to type uh, change the typography and head uh, color basically global color and typography and the buttons i will add the buttons later on when i add any buttons inside my website so click publish and uh, that's it that's very simple that's very simple right so now it's in the next part i'm going to create a header 
and also i'm gonna complete the footer that's the initial step that we have to follow first 